Hi Scorpio, welcome in and thank you so much for joining. Be sure to only take messages that resonate and how they resonate for your situation. If you're cross-watching for a Scorpio, the energies could be reversed. If the messages just aren't for you, check your other signs or check back next time. Those of you that would like to skip ahead to the singles reading, you can find the timestamp in the description box below along with the cross watchers portion. So we're going to get started with the person you're currently dealing with right now. Let's see what's going on there. What are the messages for Scorpio and the person on their mind? Spirit, what happened? Okay, we have the star. You fell for each other. Something feels like destiny between the both of you. I'm just getting like the stars aligned. You two quickly became each other's wish fulfillment. And I'm just getting there's a lot of love here between you two. Like you two fell for each other in the past. So how does Scorpio see this person right now? Could be an Aquarius, okay. Could be another water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. But it's like your souls recognized each other here. Scorpio currently see this person seven of swords you could see them as deceptive or you could see them as you know there could be some deception involved whether on your part or their part or both parts but it just seems like a very deceptive connection could be a you know a sneaky link okay something that is being uh, you know put on the down low Something you don't want other people to find out about for some of you guys, okay? Um, but this general, the Seven of Swords, they could, of course, been deceptive towards you already. Or, you know, you see them as a liar, a cheater. This is general. How do you feel? The magician? Well, you want to communicate with this person? I feel like you do want this person. You feel something here, it, it's like whatever has happened, you feel like it's fixable or it's something can be patched up here, Virgo, Gemini energy, more Aquarius energy. It's very, there's a lot of Aquarius energy here. Um, let's see, you could also feel like the situation involves manipulation. Wow, King of Swords. Could be uh, an air sign involved, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. So I'm going to tell you, Scorpio, I'm getting a couple of different things and I just, I'm going to be upfront with you. Some of you guys, now you just see this person as really manipulative. You feel like you know the truth about this person. You see them for who they are. It is what your impression of them is. But there's also a group of you Scorpios here that you may feel like you would have to be manipulative and deceptive in order to get to this person. And you guys are kind of questioning that about yourself. So just take what resonates. Now, this person is coming across to you as a little detached, and I think you like that in a sense. They're not detached though. That's the front. They they really they want you. How do they see Scorpio? How do they see Scorpio? The tower? Ooh. I feel like they see this situation as a whole, uh, a disaster, okay? But it's also, like, a beautiful disaster. Like, this is serendipity, a fortunate accident. Someone is happy that they met you, but they're going through a tower moment upon meeting you. Like, everything they thought they once wanted has been torn apart here. It's like their false sense of security has been blown up or some sort of falsehood, okay? Their reality, you really have shaken this person's reality here. And I'm getting they're burdened, okay? They also think you're detached. But neither, you guys are not. How does person feel? You give them butterflies. Um, they feel like something here might be a little dangerous though. Reckless, careless. 
You know, I feel like somebody does want to, they, like they want to emotionally withdraw from you, but they care too much. They care too much to do so. So I do feel like this person is actively trying to get a control over their emotions because they're feeling this energy of like impulsive, like they're hoping they're not being too naive. I feel like this person thinks they need to do some soul searching. They don't want to act too quickly here. But guys, they just have butterflies for you here in their stomach. Like six of cups, you know, they miss you when you're gone. When they don't see you, they're missing you a lot. Waiting for that next reunion, waiting for you to come forward. Some of you guys may work with this person, just wait for your car to pull up here, but that's very specific. Keep in mind, these are general. Yeah, there's a, there's a lot of love here, guys. What is the problem? What is this deception, this manipulation? What is going on here? Spirit, clarify that a little further. Six of Wands. I just feel like there's an energy here of not wanting to go public with something or not wanting people to find out about you two. What do they want from Scorpio? What do they want from Scorpio, please? A reunion, you you know, or just you two to come together in general. Like this person is determined to be with you, but it feels like a secret. It feels like something is like this person wants to keep you a secret or. Which is very burdensome. Cancer energy. What do they like about Scorpio? Five of want the thrill, the drama. Tell me more about that. Y'all, this is somebody that is thriving. I don't, I don't see them admitting this, but this is someone that thrives on having like secret connections, something just for themselves. Uh, they, they, they really like the, the dramatics of the situation. You, you're just, you really, the secret excites them is what I'm getting. That, that five of wands could be just total excitement of having a secret with you or a secret connection with you, but they're very excited. Um, and it's like, they like the dramatics, the drama of the situation. They like having a secret Pisces energy. What are their next actions? What are their next actions towards Scorpio? Well, that's your energy. We have the death card. Let's see. Clarify the death card, please. Judgment. They're going to ask you to end something. Whoa. Clarify further. The Hierophant. Some of y'all are... Some of y'all might be in commitment, Scorpio. Or if they're in a commitment, they're going to end that commitment. But this is like somebody here wanting to ask you to change something or to end something here. Oh my Lord, Scorpio. This person wants a fresh start with you. So I see them asking, judgment, death card. They're going to ask you to end something in your life and start over with them. What's their hidden truth for Scorpio? This doesn't resonate with you. This is not your message this time. Um, that's the message I got, Scorpio. And I feel it. I feel it very, very much so. What's their hidden truth? They find you attractive. I feel like that's so hidden here. Some of y'all do have uh, a, a person secretly admiring you. I feel like this person likes you a whole lot more than they let on. And they're actually going through a whole lot more behind the scenes than you realize. Give me one more. 
They don't want to let you go. Mm. Now, this is general and the energy could be vice versa, but I am specifically getting this person asking you to end something in your life and start something new with them. But I'm also getting if they're in another commitment, that's something they're coming in to tell you that they're doing. Could be another Scorpio. I have Aquarius, Taurus, Leo, Virgo, Gemini, Aries, Cancerian, Pisces, strong Aquarius. Yeah, this person, there's definitely a uh, breaking of a contract or getting out of a commitment. That can mean anything, guys. Okay, this could be a location issue. Take it how it resonates. So we're going to take a look at you singles. Let's see. The single Scorpios. Single Scorpios. You can click to the timestamp to get past the shuffling if you'd like. Single Scorpios, please. Let's see. We're going to take a look at who's coming towards you and also what is coming in. So who's coming towards the single Scorpios? Who's coming towards the single Scorpios? Well, it could be a fire sign, but I feel this person's uh, conventionally attractive. Okay. Could be a Leo. Or they could have a strong Leo placement. Very interesting. Scorpio energies here as well. We have the devil at the bottom of the deck. You're not buying what this person's selling is what it's telling me. So guys, the person in the immediate future coming towards you, they're very arrogant, or at least you perceive them to be that way. They're very, con they're conventionally attractive too. I feel this person gets a lot of attention and they know it. Um, but you're not really feeding their ego. And that causes this person to go within, that causes this person to be a little disappointed. And they don't want to have to walk away from you, but there's an energy of them feeling like you're not interested in them. Let's see. The full. Okay, Aries energy. Could be Aquarius or Gemini for some of you. We also have Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. So I'm getting like this person's unpredictable. Uh, they get a lot of attention. They enjoy that intent, that attention. And I feel like this person is just, they have like a wild side, a dangerous side, but you're not impressed. It's telling me you're not impressed by this person and people typically are. Yeah. Cause you want stability. And this person comes across to you as someone who is not committal. They're non-committal. That's how you see them. And you're like, eh, I'll pass. I want stability. That's going to make this person bonkers. Yeah. Knight of Swords, the strength card. Their attraction for you gets stronger. They're, they're going to spontaneously want to come after you, chase you, because you're just not impressed by what other people are normally impressed by. You're just like, oh, don't impress me too much, you know. Seven of Swords, uh, Eight of Cups. This person secretly pines over you. They're secretly disappointed. Tell me more about the Seven of Swords. Are they deceptive? Will of Fortune. I feel like they have a tendency to um, creep. They have a tendency, they have like a wandering eye. But there's something about you that's a little different here. 
Like, I, I will say that they, they have a tendency to have a wonder, wandering eye. This person, uh, you know, is attracted to shiny things. But it's like they're so disappointed, but also at the same time desiring to change your mind about them. But I don't see that happening with the death card. Yeah, because they can't change your mind. So you know something about this person, or you're getting like, this person is a player, they're non-committal, they're in and out. And I feel like you're just kind of putting your foot down on that energy, guys. I'm, I mean, I'm sorry this is your message, but it looks like, it looks like this person doesn't have the stability that you're looking for. But it's going to drive this person nuts, okay? They feel exposed too, guys. I'm getting like, this person just kind of feels like you are seeing them deceptively. Um, that's really disappointing to this person. They don't want you to see them that way. They want to turn things around with you. They want to change your perspective of them. But I just don't see that they can. So what is coming towards Scorpio? Ten of Cups in reverse. Could be a breakup coming in. Or, you know, let's see. I just feel like, you know, what you're looking for is coming. And there's an energy here not to settle. Because what you're looking for is coming. The stability you're looking for is coming. I'm also seeing others of you. Like, I'm seeing you elevate in the workplace. So you guys are going to leave an unhappy job. An unhappy, unfulfilling job for something better. But that stable relationship is there. It's, 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 it's attainable. So you're being asked not to settle. Don't get stuck in situations that you feel are just not good for you. The person who is immediately coming towards you, I feel like they are reckless. And the reason why they want you so badly is because you act uninterested. And that drives this person nuts. We have Sagittarius, Scorpio, Aquarius, Leo, Taurus. Gemini. Okay, we have strong Leo here. Could be an Aries. Spirit Aries through Pisces. Who Scorpio is dealing with? Aries through Pisces, please. If you are dealing with an Aries, this Aries is uh, manipulative. You could have been ghosted by an Aries, of course, but I'm getting like someone here is deceptive. It's just a personality trait. They're prone to being deceptive, they're prone to cheating, they're prone to lying. If you're dealing with a Taurus, this Taurus has romantic feelings for you. There's a strong attraction there. If you're dealing with a Gemini, this Gemini don't trust you. Um, they're having a hard time letting their guard down. I feel like this Gemini has a tendency to not trust anyone or anything. If you're dealing with a Cancer, this Cancer wants you. You're actually their, their dream girl, their dream man. You're their wish fulfillment. You're dealing with a Leo. I feel like this Leo is working on other things, but they're very attracted to you. They want to give you whatever it is you want. Okay, this Leo is actually slowly coming towards you. They're slowly building up something here. I feel like they're wanting to show you loyalty here. If you are dealing with a Virgo, this Virgo has gone cold. They don't want to give any emotion to the situation right now. If you're dealing with a Libra... This Libra wants to get to better waters with you. They want to make amends with you or they want to get to calmer waters. They're wanting to talk to you. Uh, I'm getting this Libra wants to give you whatever it is you want, okay? Because they just want the situation to calm down. If you're dealing with another Scorpio, the Scorpio is walking away. Um, they're disappointed though. They don't want to walk away, but they're doing it anyway. If you're dealing with a Sagittarius, um, they're giving to another situation right now. Yeah, I feel like Sagittarius is getting attention from someone else uh, right now. If you are dealing with a Capricorn, this Capricorn wants to work things out with you. If you're dealing with an Aquarius, this Aquarius is non-committal. They're really just interested in themselves for the moment. If you're dealing with a Pisces, this Pisces is restless in their head over you. Scorpio, 
you know, those are your messages. I hope this gave you some clarity. Uh, keep in mind that if it wasn't your message to check your other signs or check back next time. And again, thank you guys so much for hitting the like button. I appreciate your support until next time. Bye.